I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for October Pisces. All right, let's have a look at what's happening in your personal life. So Mars, the planet of passion, it's also in the motivational planet, but it's also the other duo side of Venus. So Venus and Mars make up the the whole love duo and energy. So Mars is going to transit to your seventh house, which is all to do with relationships, partnerships, all that love energy, and it's going to come in on the 15th, so the middle of the month. So it's like, this is a, a passion alert. You can have an instant attraction with someone. Now, couple that with Venus, the other side of the love duo, in your ninth house. This is all to do with your soul purpose. You can really connect with someone that you feel you've been waiting for your whole life. If you're already in a relationship for couples, it's an opportunity for you to just share your feelings and build a deeper connection with someone. And when you share your innermost feelings and you feel like that a little bit vulnerable, it then is a signal and an invitation for the other person to also do the same. And that's how you build that sort of unbreakable bond together with someone. So it's a very, very nice month for love and passion for you, Pisces. All right, let's move on and have a look at what's happening on the professional side of your life. So with, with Venus is going to transit out of your ninth house into your 10th house on the 8th of the month. Okay, this is all to do with your career, business. So very, very good for contacts. So the people that you meet over this month can be significant of introducing you to the right people uh, to help you advance on your career or in some way be significant in your life around business. So you can get like a clear picture and a clear direction of what you actually want this month. At the start of the month with money, someone's actions can force your hand in some way, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it can come out of the blue a little bit and, you know, perhaps make you feel a little bit unsettled for a few days, but what transpires from that can help you just gain clarity and move forward. Now this month's full moon on the 18th is in your solar second house, all to do with money. So this can bring it like a fresh start. So it can help you gain closure on something and start something new. All right, so all in all, good, good a progressive month happening all around this month so things can really start to move for you and my angel advice for you is to love and support those who love and support you in return Pisces and there's plenty of people around that have got your back and there's some who haven't so you want to you stay with obviously the people who are good for you the numbers that I've put down for you this month are 3, 8, 15 and 18 Okay, have a great month, Pisces. I'm Jennifer Angel from New York Daily News. Thanks for watching.